something was wrong for months. Megan was out of the country. Then on Friday, Megan was spotted driving around with Machine Gun Kelly. Megan was still married at the time. I took over and I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it full force. Megan Fox and Brian Austin Green are splitting up after 10 years of marriage. I think she was 18 when she met me. He was 30. You landed like the hottest chick of all time. Thanks. So like they compared her to a porn star and trailer trash. I was none of those things. I was 15 at the time. That part was so loud that it muted out the rest of who I was. And you were being made to play that character, which I think is even more traumatic. Can okay. you give me a kiss? On the mouth? I need someone to protect me. She's been very open about anxiety, depression. Everyone was like, oh, you, we don't care, you deserve it. I didn't want to be seen because the, the fear that I was going to be mocked. How stupid are you? Spat at. How long has this been going on? I was just a kid. I had just turned 15 and I was an extra in Bad Boys 2. They said, you know, Michael, <laughs> Um, she's 15, so you can't sit her at the bar and she can't have a drink in her hand. So his solution to that problem was to then have me dancing underneath the waterfall getting soaking wet. Megan was too young to understand what she was getting into, and no one protected her. I, I knew this. We got the film. We, we went, no, no. We went frame. What? It's one of these fast cut movies, so we went frame by frame. Look, are you nervous? Yeah, I'm Look, terrified. Look, are you nervous? Too? And it didn't matter how many times I spoke up and said, I'm hurting, this isn't right, I need someone to protect me, this is going on, someone needs to listen. It didn't matter at all. But when she met Brian Austin Green, she thought she'd found her protector. She was doing Hope and Faith at the time. I came and did an episode of it, and she was really young. At the table read was like, yeah, she's she's 17, so yeah, nobody like, nobody touch her. And he like gave his number out to everyone in case anyone needed to call him at some point. Like I knew he was giving me his number, and my sister was with me, and she was like, you're not going to be anything but a booty call. She turned 18, <laughs> and that was when we we uh, yeah. we spent time together, and it started. I just was kind of in love with him right away. I just feel like I had to flat out say as a guy, uh, you landed like the hottest chick of all time. Thanks. So like, fucking congrats on that <laughs> one. Like, uh... Megan tried to tell the world who she really was, but no one was listening. What are your sort of greatest uh, hopes for the future? I've always wanted kids. It's just huh. about the timing, timing, right? And I have a number in my mind of what amount of money I want in the bank so that I can protect that child's future. I want to be an archaeologist. Brian hates it. And I think I just grew up with a general love and interest for ancient religions and the idea of why are we here and who are we. And... But Megan didn't recognize who the world was telling her she was. I knew I was smart. I knew that I was funny because that's who I was. And then all of a sudden, I was none of those things. Megan Fox, star of Michael Bay's film Transformers, is named Sexiest Woman Alive. I was just a kid. Like, I was just kind of like thrown into it. And... I've got one last thing. What is it? Please, can okay. you give me a kiss? Please. On the Come mouth? The and those were always the questions. And I don't know, how are you supposed to answer a question like that? Megan Fox revealed that when she sought acting advice from Michael Bay, and his responses reportedly were, be hot, just be sexy. You were just like a toy, the, the girl of the boy. Michael Bay makes you an icon. Okay. Are you, are you aware? That part was so loud that it muted out the rest of who I was. Megan tried to take control, but things got worse. That's, I was pushed into it, yes. but then I can't totally play a victim because I took over and I was like, it. if this is what it is, it's what it is. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it full force. But it was not genuine. In a shocking new interview, Megan Fox spoke out against her treatment on the set of Transformers, comparing director Michael Bay to Hitler. I resent people trying to tell me how to look or act or speak. After she spoke out, there was industry-wide backlash. Fox was publicly fired from the third film. Crew members of Michael Bay published an open letter on Michael Bay's website, where they said Megan Fox was, quote, blabbing her trash mouth, and they compared her to a porn star and trailer trash. This open letter changed the public's perception of Megan. Overwhelmed by the hate, Megan hit a breaking point. I was speaking out and saying, you know, hey, these things are happening to me and they're not okay. And everyone was like, oh, you, we don't care, you deserve it. I had a psychological breakdown. I didn't want to be seen because the, the fear that I was going to be mocked or, know, Megan. or spat at me for just being out. My belief system was that the world wasn't going to accept me. I just went through a very dark moment. Megan decided to hide from Hollywood, desperate to find her true self.
getting pregnant, that was the first real breakthrough where I had where I, my, my consciousness shifted and my mind opened up and I was able to see from a bird's eye view and, and breathe and take it in and, and have a different perspective. Tell me about being, you know, motherhood so far. Is that everything you expected? Yeah, I mean, it's all I've ever wanted to do. I was very overwhelmed with the intensity of the emotions that I felt when I had him. So I'm in love with him. Brian is jealous. Love well, him so much. Well, because she wants to marry him. And I keep telling her that that doesn't... That's my baby boy. There's right, which is nothing why you don't better. Marry him. I still love her. It's fine. But for Megan, being a mom was the first step to recovering her true identity. With every kid, I feel like that's always been the doorway into a better version of myself because they're, you know, they're the mirrors that show you your shadow. Yeah. You have to look at it and go, this is who I am and I have to acknowledge that and I have to grow and I have to change it. And so she started making better decisions for her career. After a very public fallout, Megan Fox and Michael Bay are collaborating on a new movie together. Who made the first move in the reconciliation? I did. I was young when a lot of that was happening and I always, I was really self-righteous in my anger. I thought I was right to speak the way that I spoke. And as I got a little older, I understood, regardless of whatever my issues were, you should never blast someone like that in public. And so I reached out. And she went back to work in a way that truly mattered to her. We bet you did not know that one of Megan Fox's biggest passions is archaeology and anthropology. Legends of the Lost with Megan Fox. I'm the first outsider to be given access to see these remains. Do you know how old? It's about 12 years of age, 10 years of age, about three to four years of age. And that's the order that they were laid in the grave on. There's something very sweet about it also, yeah. which is also very sad. I had three kids. Megan outgrew the relationship with the man she thought was her protector and started showing the world her true self. Megan was out of the country shooting a film. She got back and she said, you know what? I, I realized while I was out of the country working alone that um, I feel more like myself and I like myself better during that experience. You're never going to thrive when you're being disingenuous to yourself. Megan Fox and Brian Austin Green are splitting up after 10 years of marriage. By taking control of her own story, Megan Fox showed the world who she truly was. At that time, I felt like I was suffering, but now having a, a different outlook, it made me a much better human being. When she met Machine Gun Kelly, their connection was instant. He saw the real Megan. Finding yourself and growing up and falling in love and falling out of love is all things that are meant to happen as humans. So we're actually two halves of the same soul. For the first time ever in my life, my heart chakra is like fully open to everything coming to me and I'm not blocking it with like the things I was before. Fox's comeback is a reminder of how many women are pigeonholed and villainized for entertainment. And yet, how some overcome in spite of it. I've come full circle with that. With stuff. Yeah, I'm, I've been on a total journey with that and I've made it back to a place where nothing that I've experienced is a bad thing. It was always something that grew me in the right direction to where I am now. A local rapper's flash mob turns chaotic. A rapper was led away shirtless to chance of MGK. Said we were going to reconnect, she left, and we ended up never reconnecting. I hated and resented that situation so much. Arrested recently, you know, whatever little brawl, little problem earlier this year, and other guys come back and suing you. Like you try to bury something, and it just keeps popping out the ground.